This is practice prepper. Today I wanted to talk about uh, the results that I'm seeing from my gray water uh, being plumbed out into the greenhouse. What you see behind me right here is just an explosion of growth. Uh, the water coming out is kitchen sink water, so uh, there's uh, dish soap going down through there. I also take uh, some of the, uh, the bathroom sink water, which I catch in a jug and I dump it down the kitchen sink, and occasionally it's getting some bathtub water as well. If I have extra, I'll sometimes bail it. And, run it through here. So soapy water is coming out through here and you can see the plants are not bothered by that at all. There's a little bit of yellowing on the tomato leaves over here you can see uh, but the tomato plant itself it has healthy stems and healthy leaves uh, in the fresh areas. The only problem and this is generally throughout the entire greenhouse that I'm having is not that the plants don't seem healthy not that they're not growing like crazy but there's no pollinators for them. It's a closed environment. I like the fact that I don't have the uh, uh, you know, mosquitoes and flies and bugs in here. But the downside is none of the stuff's getting pollinated. Uh, but it's certainly growing very well. Over here uh, is another squash plant that's growing from the overflow from the, the goldfish pond. The large goldfish pond over here cascades down into a lower one. Uh, gravity siphons down into this bucket, which I can uh, use to fill up watering cans, things like that. I got a watering can right at the top there, which I used to you know, water some of the areas that don't get hit with gray water. Uh, and then that. Uh, overflows off into this area and you can see this area is doing really well also. I mean a lot of this is just, a lot of this is just weeds and things, uh, things I didn't plant. There's a, but there is a cantaloupe down at the bottom, there's a citrus tree, uh, like I said this squash plant that's growing up through here. So uh, that's really healthy. It's a really, uh, this was all subsoil too. What these things are growing in, it was, it was not good soil. It, it, any of the nutrients is all coming out of the goldfish ponds, which I, I would imagine has a lot of uh, nutrients just with the nitrogen and everything uh, coming out with the uh, fish's excrement. A little more gray water area over here that doesn't actually usually get serviced by the gray water. I just don't have enough coming out for it to make it all the way down here. But, uh, you know, the, the soil's alive anyway. That's the point. Got a little squash plant here. Uh, again, the flowers are not getting pollinated. Healthy plant, just not getting pollinated because it's in the greenhouse. The last plant down over here is a, uh, a rosemary plant, and I think that's the future of the, the, uh, the greenhouse in terms of the plants because uh, rosemary doesn't need to be pollinated to be useful. Uh, I think I'm probably just going to go herbs and plants that you eat the leaves from because uh, I, I sort of like not having bugs in the greenhouse. So I think that's where I'm going to go with it. But clearly, as you can see, the plants are loving the water even though it has a little bit of soap in it. Uh, and the gray water experiment has worked out really well. So what do you think? Have you tried gray water? Did you have similar results to these, different results? Uh, let me know uh, in the comments below uh, if you have any experiences, any questions that you might have about this. For me, anyway, it's working out really well, and I think my problem, uh, well, not a problem, but my lesson learned is just different plant selection. So I don't have to worry about having pollinators here in the greenhouse when I really would kind of prefer not to have bugs flying around. So, thanks for watching.